Hi, welcome back to uh, how to smartly use photo mechanic. In part 5, we're going to talk about how to use variables in your IPTC stationary pad. So in photo mechanic, say you're trying to ingest some pictures. And I have my card of photos here, and I'm going to, you know, start with a boilerplate caption. Um, and it's a football game again uh, in our example and we're going to have Ohio State Michigan um, so uh, this was played in Ann Arbor so I'm going to fill in Ann Arbor for the city it was played in Michigan Stadium and it was in the state of Michigan now in my boilerplate I probably want to put all that information in there as well and in the past I could have just written out Ann Arbor you know stuff like that but you know that takes some time. Well, instead, what you can do is use variables because I, uh, Photo Mechanic has these things called variables. And what this does is, um, if you scroll down to the variable list that has IPTC fields, you can in fact insert IPTC fields you've already filled out into your caption information, like the date and the city, uh, which are very easy location stuff. So I'm gonna double click on city, and you see it's put in C within brackets. Uh, anything within brackets, photo mechanic thinks it's a variable. And I'm going to also put in the state. And um, you probably want to put in um, the uh, location. So I'm going to put in game and then location, which I think is just lock. Yep, location. And you know, if you do this already in your boilerplate, it's going to save you a lot of time. So, uh, time is also very good to use. Uh, you, you want to go down to here, which you see all these fields for time. And usually, uh, in caption info, we write for AP especially, you want to put the day of the week. So, that will be this field right here. And I want to put in the probably the uh, date, um, which is going to be this right here and I want to put in the year uh, in four digits and that would be right here and you see it's put in all of these fields I want to put spaces between them obviously because um, otherwise you're not going to get a space in your caption and um, you also put it oh <laughs> we forgot month so uh, you want to put in month and this variable right here actually puts in the AB, AP abbreviated names as well, so it's very useful. Um, and I'm going to format this again, so it'd be name in the first half of a football game, and then this would be day of the week, and you probably want to have a comma after that, and a space, and then month, space, day, space, is there a space? Yes. Uh, month, day, comma, year comma and then you want to say at and then you know location and then you want to say in in the city comma state brilliant so we've done that you close it down and if you go to your oops photo mechanic has crashed on me that's okay I'm just going to launch it again and sorry about that <laughs> computers um, go to the ingest window again you see it's actually still has our ingest information there if we select this to be done and we want to put it into part 5 for variables and say ingest we should quickly ingest these pictures before I run out of time here and if we take a look yes indeed it added the appropriate date and time of the game at the city and location isn't that great okay so that was how to use variables thanks for watching